all right guys on this video let me show you how to set up the actual new Mavic Pro the DJI one of the first thing that you have to do is change the actual switch to RC to RC and then let's go ahead on your actual phone and download the application The application call DJI Go 4 for drone science P4. Let's go ahead and install it and let's go ahead and accept and then proceed. Now the app is downloaded. The download is the download is almost there. All right, now we actually download the application. Um, all right, now we have to actually accept the terms in the application. And then we have to sign up. Make sure you remove these plastic covers from the actual lens of the drone. The recommendations show you to, that you have to do it. And make sure you save it in a good place so in that way you don't lose them. And we are still still waiting for the the upgrade. Let me go ahead and press this twice. One, two, and hold it and the same thing here one two and hold and then in here is going to show you it's going to show you this option you press you check that and then press ok now let's see you for the terms you scroll up and then check that and then i agree And then it's giving you some instructions that are very important. Remove the protective cover before power on the aircraft. Input the name of the aircraft. X Learn Tech. Uh, and continue. Let's try the model 2 as a default. All the instructions right there. We will actually make sure the GPS signal is exchanged so we could look at our actual drone. The camera setting is very important. And then continue. The metrics, the video output. For safety reason, beginner mode is enabled by default. In beginner mode, the aircraft cannot take off when there is no GPS signal and it's limited. All right, now it's asking to confirm the actual account. And then there we go to activate. And there we click work. And then we could skip this at the top. And then it's an update. Okay, in here we are downloading one of one of the important instructions that the flight restriction allow the NDA user to more easily comply with local laws and regulations. This restriction also certainly lowers the possibility to interfere with civil airlines. Because in most countries they have a lot of regulation that you shouldn't be flying next to the aircraft or nearby the airport because if one of these drone hit the plane could cause serious injuries and damages to the actual airplanes so that's why now it's actually updating the actual database of the drone so in that way the actual drone already 
and stop flying on those dead zones or restrict areas. After the database upgrade, now it's showing me that it has a uh, new firmware is available. Make sure that you touch it and then it's gonna ask you to start updating it. And then you go, I agree. And now it's downloading everything. Make sure you are connected to the Wi Fi whenever you do uh, these upgrades because when you do it with a 4G LTE, most of the time you know the internet is not that good, or well, depending on the area. So it's uploading the frame right now. Alright, the upgrade is almost done, it's 94%. All right, now the actual update has been complete. The EPS mode is active. All right, now the drone is ready and make sure the the home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. The intelligent mode is enabled, especially when during the day. So in that way, we prevent a lot of you know the actual obstacles. And it's very important to activate the beginner mode too. Now it's active. Finally, we are testing our nice drone. The DJI is pretty fast. All right, I have uh, my actual drone in beginner mode because I am testing it and trying to see how easy or hard it is to use it. So let's press the home to see if the actual drone comes back to the station. So now it's returning home. I can say that this is an amazing drone. Hopefully guys you like the video. Let me know what other videos you want to see and I'll be glad to show you guys.